Hello bleepers, how the devil are you? Uh, so I'm out metal detecting today and this video is going to be slightly different to the other videos in the sense of this is a, we're going to have a, a find of the day competition. It's going to be so much fun. Now then Chris, Mr. Bleeps, um, I'm here today with a little group called Let's Go Digging and hopefully whatever I find today can be entered into our little friendly competition for the find of the day and uh, your subscribers can decide between your find and my find and who the overall winner is. I'm doing the same thing on my video as well if your subs want to go over there and have a look and uh, I'll get back to you later with what I found and uh, what I've chosen to put up for my find of the day. So catch you later and good luck and happy hunting. Yeah, this is in collaboration with Stephen, uh, the man with the hat. Well, the other man with the hat, but he is known with the man with the hat because he has a very lovely hat on the top of his noggin. <laughs> I like him. He's got a really cool channel. Uh, and he does all sorts of other things. He does like lots of stuff for charity as well, which is important. And he does this wombling thing as well where he shows you how to make money from um, uh, price matching receipts. Go, There's a link below in his channel below. Go check it out. Anyway, today we're going to have a find of the day competition using YouTube's new polling system. You can vote for stuff now. It's there. I think it's probably there, isn't it? No, it could be there. Anyway, it'll have the little eye and a little round circle. If you click on that, you can vote on who you think has had the best find of the day. I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll get it. I'm quite good with hammered coins, aren't I? But I don't think so. And I'm only out for a few hours. Anyway, uh, let's go and see how that goes, shall we? Ah, we come straight, excuse me, it's a bit blooming windy out here. And we are straight in with a little button there. It is not a button of nothingness. It is indeed a button of somethingness. Uh, what that something is, though, I have not got a clue. I think it's a button. Is it a button? It looks like a button, doesn't it? Yeah, it's definitely a button. Okay, then. Ah, and we have a mystery clod. Look, a mystery clod. Let's double the chance. Oh, no, that wasn't double. That's much more. Okay. No, nothing. No, nothing. Ooh, ah, yum, yum, look at that. Oh, it's a button again. It's okay, though, the finds are coming up. I'm feeling optimistic, Stephen. Okay, 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 hold your horses, ladies and gentlemen. That is indeed a coinage, I believe, because it's certainly not a button. Let's get it cleaned up. On initial inspection, it looks like an old copper coin of some sort. It's definitely not a button. Can't see any clasp part in the middle. I wonder if I can get it any cleaner than that without doing too much. I think I've got some, oh, I've got some baby wipes in the back. I'll check it out, let me check it out. Ah, it's a coin of near nothingness. Tantalizingly close, good Lord, man. Uh, nothing on the other side. It's, um, it's unfortunately within the context of our little competition. I don't think that this is gonna apply. There's definitely writing around the edge there. But, um, yeah, no, I'm not going to put this forward. Oh, gutted, that could have just been so... That could have been beautiful, couldn't it, my friends? Beautiful. Ah, ye old Ledius rolled up here. Nah, nah, nothing on that. Good Lord, it's a giant's toothpick. Look at the size of that blooming thing. Woo! Ah, greetings. We do seem to have a dome-shaped button here. And by the looks of it, on just first... Looks, it is a military button. I do believe I see a crown of some sort there. And perhaps um, the numbers 2 and 5, 25. Let's give it a bit of a clean up. Yeah, fantastic. Look at that. That's a little beauty. 25, uh, and there's still gold gilding on it there. And there's wording at the top, which I cannot decipher right now. Oh, no, it's wording all the way around it. Um, I can't decipher it right now, but I will do at a later date. That is definitely in there for my personal find of the day. Ah, conditions wise today, it is a glorious day. Look at it, it's overcast and it looks like it's gonna rain, which I like because of my Celtic Viking variety. I have churches surrounding me, north, west, south, east. There's like a gap, I'd say about a mile between each, maybe two miles that way, I don't know. So, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of fantastic history here. But unfortunately, as usual, this is a field which has been done to death. This is what they call to death. But I never seem to acknowledge how dead this field is supposed to be. I keep on finding stuff in it. It's glorious. I like it. It's my lucky field. Anyway, not doing so good so far, Stephen. Uh, yes. Anyway, what you got under that hat? I keep uh, a bag of pear drops under mine. I think that we should all know. Uh, certainly because you found a hoard. We're in the first, was it the first week you was telling me? First week of metal detecting. 
Ay, 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 ay. That is crazy. That is absolutely brilliant. That's fantastic. But I put it down to whatever it is you're hiding under your hat. Some type of witchcraft, I expect. Anyway, this is fun. I'm enjoying this. Let's carry on. Yeah! Ah, ha, 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 ha. We have what looks like a penny within the clod. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I love this bit. This is brilliant, isn't it? Dun, 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 Peekaboo. Right, let's have a look without doing any damage. Ooh. Oh, you're an old penny. You are a old. Look at the patina on that. That is a beautiful specimen, my friends. Um, who are you there, George? Edward. Okay, let me just, I'm going to find a date. One second. And the date is 1905. And it's in really good condition. It's absolutely beautiful. But the question is... Is it a better find than that military button? Hmm. Aha! And I do believe we have a surface find. Yes, we do. Let's have a look. Get you. Oh no, you've been damaged, haven't you? You've had. You've taken a right. Oops. Oh no. Ah, uh, it's a. No, no, it's nothing. And here we have a mini mystery clod. Look how, look how wee it is. Uh oh. As you can see on my detector there, it is beginning to rain, but I don't care about a bit of rain. Uh, oh, is, is, oh, oh, this isn't looking good. Oh, hello, hello, hello. It's just a bit of, it's a bit of, it's a bit of shrapnel. Oh no, shrapnel and I, ugh. Ah, and this cheeky little fella just popped out of the hole. This hole, right here. Uh, oh, it's a button. It's a button. But let's not fall in dismay. Um, it's got gilding, and it does have writing around the edge. I'd like to point out at this moment that Steve does actually have an unfair advantage. That being that he has a dais, and he has a much cooler hat than me. Which of course matters. But I'm not going to use either of those as an excuse. Um, I'm going to carry on. Now, I can't see, there's definitely writing around the side. In the, around the, shush, you foolish! Blooming people riding hair dryers. Okay, so there we have it. Yes, I can't see anything there. Uh, but it does have some weird markings on the front, but they don't tend to have anything, these type of buttons. Um, so it's probably just my eyes deceiving me. That'll come up nicely in a clean up though. Oh, blooming hell, look at that. Look at that old bullet. Wow. You would need some propellant to get that out of your gun, right? I mean, that's got a, a range of at least, what, 10 foot. That is heavy. Blooming hell, that is brilliant. I mean, this has got to predate World War I, surely. That is cool. Speaking of lead, thank you guys for positively IDing that huge lead button that I found last week, which you've uh, ID'd as a dressed weight which are basically used for like hanging a weight beneath a dress so it stops the wind from going up ladies' bloomers. Uh, something like that anyway, I think. But anyway, that's, that's fantastic, isn't it? And thank you for doing that for me. I really appreciate it. But this is indeed a lovely find as well of the lead variety. Brilliant, fantastic. Okay, we're going back in time here without a DeLorean. Uh, so we've had a lead bullet and now we've got a lead musket ball. Uh, let's see if I can find an arrowhead now, shall we? <laughs> Greetings, soul! Don't hide behind that big black cloud there, please. Ah, it's lovely. Lovely. Oh, oh, there's a bit of blue sky up there. Is <gasps> Wow. Okay, and we have a coin or button situation there. And I'm feeling optimistic that it is indeed a coin. Let's flip her over. Let's flip her. <gasps> I'm not too sure. No, hold on. Right, clean up. Yeah, it's a button. No, oh, it's interesting. I thought it looked ringy at first. No, it's just a folded over bit of lead. Ah. Mystery Claude, Mystery Claude. What's inside the mi Ooh, Mystery Claude? Is it a picture of God in the Mystery Claude? Let's find out and see. Ugh, good lord, man. Not a picture of God in a mystery cloud. Hmm, could be something interesting. No, it's not, is it? Uh, 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 uh. I have found the tennis ball of premonition. Wherever I shall kick this tennis ball is where the treasure and gold 
will lay. Are you ready? Here we go. Good lord, it squeaked. What kind of tennis ball squeaks when you kick it? Alright, let's go. Okay, we're getting closer. Tennis ball is that. That would count, wouldn't it? That's close enough. No. No. Oh, no. Oh. Hold on a second. Hmm. No way. Right, I'm digging that. <laughs> I'm going to do a live dig as well. Oh, I am so excited. Yes, I am, because it's the tennis ball of premonition to bring me all the treasures in the world and historical stuff. And, uh, um, oh, 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 no, oh, no, 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 don't do this to me, man. The, the signal's transforming. It's transforming to a bad signal. Okay, it's here somewhere, I think. No, no. Or maybe I completely missed the hole. Oh, come on. Really? Oh. What tricks are these? Ah, oh, okay, it's there. It is. No, nope, not there. Okay, I have it in my hand. And it's turned into an iffy signal, which is what I do not enjoy. Oh, hold on, what is that? What is that? Oh, it looks like a little watch. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, it's one of those blooming things. It's, it's nothing good. It's one of those, I don't know, I can't remember what they are, but they're like Georgian, it's not a watch winder. It's a, it's like a thing that the nail goes through. Oh, you stupid tennis ball. Oh, look at that tiny, tiny little, I think that is a watch winder. It's weird because I just mentioned one. It's so small though, you're so cute. It's so wee. Wow, I really like that. I'm not totally sure it's gonna be a good one to put forward find of the day, but it is. It's really, really cool, I like it. <laughs> ah, and here we have another button, see? Yeah, I was just thinking it's gonna be interesting to see what um, context everybody thinks that the best find would be. You know, some people will think, obviously, within a historical context, uh, like a modern coin perhaps would be like good if it was gold or silver to somebody, but somebody else might go for like a lead spindle well from uh, years and years ago. Even though it's lead, historically, it's a uh, it's a great bit of history in your hand, isn't it? Did you know what? This isn't a bad button, actually. I'm rabbiting. I'm sorry, but this isn't a bad button. One sec. Ah! Oh, that's a beauty! Isn't it? It's got all this like lovely gilding around the side of it. It's still muddy in the middle. I do apologise, I can't get that out right now. But that is an anchor in the middle. It's a navel button. And it's a little beauty. I like it. And at some depth, blooming hell, we have the end of an old spoon. Unfortunately, I don't think that there's going to be any markings on there. Nor dinner. Whoa, look at that. Completely unspent round. Fantastic. Is there any markings on the ends? One second. I think it's probably a little bit too old. Let's have a look, shall we? No, there's nothing there. I think these ones are too old. Way too old. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Ah, cool, though. No, I was just disrupting this clod to get this out, and I saw the glint of gold, but alas. It is but a lie for my face. It's a button, isn't it? It's a you lied to me, button. You posed as a gold coin. Uh oh, I'm not liking this one little bit. It's beginning to rain and it's getting darker. And I believe all hell is gonna break loose. Oh no. Anyway, I just found a tin can. Woo! Oh, okay, this is an interesting little button that's come up there. Uh, so I've got a full clasp on the back, look. Looks like it, anyway. Okay, let's do a quick, uh, quick little clean-up on that one. Oh, it's just a circular button there. I've never seen one like that before with the clasps like that. It looks like there was three at some point, look. 
That's a shame, isn't it? <sighs> okay, then I need to uh, stop before all hell breaks loose in the sky and I get rather, rather drenched. Okay, I think that I've come to a conclusion as to what my find is gonna to be today. And I'm gonna go for the uh, military button there with the 25 on it. Yeah. Okay, let's do some, while you're here, let's do some research on this button. We can do that on my phone, I believe. Uh, I've got a pretty good internet coverage out here, but I'm gonna do it quickly before the, uh, the weather really does come down. Okay, I've got it. It is that button right there, but that one's obviously got gilding on it. Uh, and it says 25th, King's Own Borderers Regiment of Foot Victorian Officers Gilt Closed Back Coatee Button. Uh, 1840 to 1855, she's a little beauty and it's in really good condition, really. Yes, good, good, good. It hasn't been a great day, really, but um, I've had fun. and uh, Thank you for inviting me into this uh, fun little competition. It's been fantastic. Uh, it's just great to get out and go metal detecting, really, isn't it? And I found this beautiful little button. Alrighty, Chris, Mr. Beeps, I've finished for the day. Um, you'll see from my video, I started off going on a dig with a group of people, and in the end, I just left it and came back to my own permission, where I stood a chance of finding something. And I'm glad I did, because I found something worthy of putting forward for our find of the day, where your subscribers can choose the overall winner. So here is mine. Well, I got some bits and pieces there, but this is what I want to put forward for my find of the day. It's a cut half penny of King John, 1199 to 1216 AD. It's a lovely coin. And there's the other side. And I suppose being a cut half rather than a full penny, it makes it that much harder to find. Anyway, thanks very much. I hope your subscribers have now got a difficult choice between them and uh, choose the overall winner of the find of the day. And also, jump across to my channel and see how I found these. And I uh, thank you very much and catch you later. Okay then, now, so uh, up here or up here, there should be a little like eye with a circle uh, and that's where you can vote for the finds of the day. Super fun little competition. I'd like to do uh, these more actually. Anyway, my friends, thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video.